In this video, we're gonna go over a tip or really a series of tips in regards to HR. So this is really relevant to anyone on payroll, any employee. Um, and this is just an overview of some notes pertaining to paid rest breaks, okay? So uh, as you're going through onboarding, this is an important stuff for uh, you to be aware of so that we can uh, provide you these things and you're expected to take them uh, simultaneously, okay? So paid rest breaks, uh, some overview of those. Uh, paid rest breaks are, are provided and expected to be taken, as I kind of just alluded to. As an employer, I mean, everyone's remote, distributed. We cannot police the enforcement that paid rest breaks are taken, but please take them, okay? You're absolutely encouraged to take paid rest breaks um, according to the periods that we're gonna describe later um, in this video. Uh, but please acknowledge that these paid rest breaks are uh, provided uh, through your hour tracking process. So right now it's just a checkbox. You're just going to check that every day you clocked in that, you know, uh, they were provided and hopefully they were taken simultaneously. Uh, one important note so that you have some flexibility with these things is paid rest breaks do not have to be taken at a routine time every day. Okay. They can be uh, taken according to the periods uh, described below. So, you know, you are allotted one paid 10 minute rest break if you are working three and a half to six hours. This is gonna be most people's shifts. I would say most canvassers, uh, most uh, technician apprentices, hopefully your shift is around this range. It might bleed into uh, the next range, six to 10 hours. If you work six to 10 hours, you're allotted two paid 10 minute rest breaks if working six to 10 hours. Most people are not gonna be working eight plus hours in a given shift. Sometimes maybe technicians might be. Very, very rarely would someone be allotted uh, three paid 10 minute rest breaks, but you are allotted three if you're working uh, 10 to 14 hours, okay? So this is important stuff for everyone to recognize. You're allotted one paid 10 minute rest break if your work shift is three and a half to six hours. That's most canvassers, like at the markets, let's say. You're allotted two paid 10 minute rest breaks if working six to 10 hours. This is probably most days for let's say the office managers or the technicians. Um, and in extreme cases, maybe the technicians are working like 10 plus hours if we're in the middle of a really busy Christmas light season or something of the like. And in that case, you're allotted three paid 10 minute rest breaks, okay? Um, Again, they are always provided, they're expected to be taken, but we cannot police the enforcement of these being taken. But Pete, please, again, take your paid rest breaks um, and acknowledge the time through your hour tracking process.